Namaste everyone, it's Leanne Carey from Leanne Carey Yoga and I'm going to talk about Balasana today or Adhimukha Virasana, uh, downward facing hero's pose. Um, and the reason why I'm talking about this pose is because believe it or not, a lot of people don't like it. So I'm going to show you the adjustment that's right for me, what I have students do for me. My hips come down and my heels really pretty easily. What's um, a little tough for me is getting some extension out of my, um, my thoracic spine. But I don't have any problems here. So as I drop down and I release my arms out in front of me, before I go all the way down, I push through my hands to get my hips to sink a little bit more. And then I can kind of begin to source out the space in front of me through my spine. So when I'm actually moving myself into the pose actively, then I'll press through my palms quite a bit to continue to release my top thighs back and really fold at those hip creases. And so my tailbone releases. And once that goes down a little bit more, I try to pull that thoracic spine forward. I stretch my arms. And I just keep doing that until eventually my head comes down comfortably. And I'll push my hands continually. I'll take one more breath. Okay. So you see it makes no sense to try to get my thoracic spine to move forward if this isn't falling because it means that those two areas are competing with one another. And the idea of child's pose is to try to get the, all the segments of the spine to release as equally as possible. So I'm going to bring Jules Mitchell over into the party here. And the adjustment that I'm going to give for her is a little bit different. If you watch her first go into the child's pose, So what ends up happening for her is that her hip flexors keep her a little um, uh, away from releasing the top thighs all the way back and down and the pelvis to release and feel like it's heavy, feel like it's dropping. So uh, it's also competing with this part, just like me but a little bit differently. It's competing with this part of her spine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help her with the hip flexors by taking my sort of the knife edge of my hand and pressing down into them, pushing the top thighs down and then back as well. And then I'm going to encourage the thoracic spine to extend by having to hold on to my heels. So it's going to look like this. Before I reach all the way back, take my thumbs in there, make that knife edge. Oh yeah, there she goes, moaning. And then I can extend her. And what, now what we're getting is those hips to release down. And with each exhalation, she can just soften through the thigh crease a little bit more. And as I reach out a little bit more, she can begin to extend through the thoracic spine a little. And it feels good. And it can't just sort of be a wham bam, thank you man. You gotta hang out here for a few breaths and hopefully begin to um, send a message to the nervous system that these, um, this pose can be a little bit more relaxing, right? Even though she's still reaching through the arms. So the first thing I'm going to do is when I let her go, I'm going to ask her to let go of me. And so just release, and I still keep my hands there. I'm going to slide my hands so that the heels of my hands come to those top hip flexors. Good, and then I can go ahead and begin to walk away. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope that helps. Namaste.